hello guys welcome back to my channel dp design and this video is totally dedicated to formula SAE and baha SAE guys who are facing the difficulties in notching process so let's get started and let's learn how to ease your uh, notching process and uh, using the solidworks weldment you guys might have been aware of uh, the weldments in solidworks so these are the members has been separated separated into a particular solid bodies by the weldments and yeah as you can see these notches are very complex and difficult to manufacture as per the CAD model so what we can do you can select the member which is in a cut list you can select this one these are your cutlets like this each uh, separated solid bodies if i click a 35 it is a front bulkhead and it is a 36 then uh, one of the member of seam now if i want to make this notch how we can make the drawing of it and how we can use it for manufacturing so what you can do you you have to select the insert into new part yeah you can name it accordingly uh, select the cut list properties and also you can select the location where you want to save the part let's say i am naming it uh, e fsa member one yeah you can also check the propagate visual properties if you want this is the optional and also you can make the template settings you can make your own template where you don't have to uh, name it every time and the visual properties as well so what i will do for now i will click the check yeah as you can see my part has been generated a uh, separately of uh, in a one so solid bodies now i want i want to flatten this pipe how i will do and also you can see my front plane top plane yeah if i click on sketch So it is perpendicular to the my rotational axis. Now I can cut this part. So what I will do, I will select the normal two view and select the. Okay, now, yeah. Now I will cut this using the extrude cut. And I will go to the thin feature. I will take a mid plane and yes the lesser the thickness the more accuracy you will get so what I will do I will cut this into 0.1 yes now you can see there is a cut now you have to select the seat metal and insert bands so choosing the insert band will flatten your part in the band parameters you can select the outer edge of this cut yes and you can select the okay now you can see there is a flatten now you can use the flatten yes now my part has been generated into the flatten now i want to make this drawing so what i will do I will simply click on the normal to view so that uh, it will be in a 2d now i will select the make drawing from it i have to select the particular size for it i will select the a0 for this this member and i will select the current view which i have selected now and also don't forget to put this in a custom scale that is a 1 gem one it has to be in a original scale to manufacture it properly now you can directly save this in a pdf i will select the pdf and i will select the let's say 111 save now as you can see my part has been generated in a PDF. It is in a one gem one scale. So now you can print it out and wrap on your circular member and you can cut, cut this accordingly. 
so your notch will be perfect and thank you for watching keep supporting keep sharing we will bring up the new videos like this in the future thank you